Hey guys, welcome to Quick Concepts. That's a new short series that I've introduced. So we'll be discussing some concepts, you know, in concise and in brief. So that will be about this series. So we'll discuss a few topics that are, you know, very important for your prof examinations as well as also from your competitive examinations point of view, right? Whether it is your NEET, PG, INI, CET or MLE, all of these topics will be important there, right? So let's begin with today's session. My name is Chatanya Mittal. I am currently pursuing my MBBS at Ames Delhi. And at the end of the video, I'll also be talking to you about the Unacademy subscription, which is, you know, we have two subscriptions. One is the plus, the other is the iconic subscription. So I'll tell you in detail about these two subscriptions and how you can take them by going to the Unacademy Learner application. And you will also be able to get a 10% discount if you remember this referral code C H E T A N Y A. That's my name, Chatanya, followed by 10. You will get a 10% discount and you'll be eligible for the best of the offers on the Unacademy application. So I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video. Let's begin with today's session very quickly. And today's session. Hey guys, this video is for a very, very important question that is asked in immunology. And that question is about MHC, right? And uh, it, it's also more targeted. We're going to be talking about MHC in relation to MHC 1 versus MHC 2. It's a very important question that comes as a difference. So first of all, what is MHC? You all know what's the full form major histocompatibility complex. That's just the merely the full form, right? Major histocompatibility complex, right? And what is the significance? It is responsible for antigen presentation to helper T cells as well as cytotoxic T lymphocytes, major histocompatibility complex, also called as HLA, human leukocyte antigen, human leukocyte antigen. The important thing is, so it is encoded by HLA genes, which are present on the uh, chromosome number six, and they're responsible for antigen uh, presentation to T cell receptors. And now, so first thing that you generally study here, that is called as MHC restriction. That principle is called as MHC restriction that I've already discussed with you guys. What is MHC restriction? Here, you talk about the rule of eight. So CD4 cells, they can only recognize an antigen which has to be a polypeptide antigen presented with the help of MHC2, okay, which is only present on antigen presenting cells such as macrophages, dendritic cells and B cells. On the other hand, CD8, it is recognizing MHC1. It can only recognize polypeptide antigens presented in association with MHC, sorry, MHC1. And they are present on all nucleated cells. Okay, so all cells except RBC, you can write down it, uh, write down in that way. So that is the concept known as MHC restriction. Now here, when I am talking about two different MHCs, MHC2 and MHC1, a very important question that you often get in your examinations is a difference between MHC1 and MHC2. So why not, you know, sort of tabulate that difference and make life easier for ourselves? So let's first talk about the difference between MHC1 and MHC2. So one obvious difference that, you know, you all might have picked up is that MHC1 is present on all cells except RBC, whereas MHC2 is only present on antigen presenting cells. MHC1 is recognized by CD8 cells. MHC2 is recognized by CD4 cells. Okay, so that is that's a very obvious difference. So I'll just write it in the bracket so that you don't miss it out. CD8 लिख देता हूँ यहाँ पे, यहाँ पे CD4 लिख देता हूँ. I hope you'll able to be uh, you'll be able to write कि MHC2 it is present on only antigen presenting cells. And all nucleated cells are going to express MHC1. So I will write here all cells except RBC. Whereas here it is only antigen presenting cells and you will already know the examples. I've already told you them. Okay. So please remember it is even present on platelets. It's even present on platelets even though they do not have a nucleus. Okay. Now. What are the gene loci that are there? What are the gene loci that are there? So it's very simple to remember. See MHC1 and MHC2. So for MHC1, the gene loci, they have one letter. For MHC1, the gene loci, they have one letter. Okay. So HLA, A, B, and C. Very simple. 
एंड ऑन एम एच दे हैव टू लेटर्स सो हाउ डू यू राइट टू लेटर्स सी के बाद क्या आता है डी सो टू टू मेक इट टू लेटर्स दे रोट इट लाइक एच एल ए डी पी डी क्यू डी आर ठीक है तो ऐसा हुआ राइट सो दैट इज हाउ एम एच सी वन एम एच सी टू गॉट सेपरेटेड एम एच सी वन द जीन लुकाए दे हैव वन लेटर एम एच सी टू द जीन लुकाए दे हैव टू लेटर्स राइट यू ऑल नो अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर लिटिल बिट डू यू हैव एनी आइडिया ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ओके so the structure is fairly different mhc1 it is having one in its name so it has one long chain one short chain so god has made life very easy for you mhc1 has one long and one short chain now what about mhc2 does does god life make easier for you here yes it does so here you have two alpha and two beta chains so life is again easy for you two alpha plus two beta chains here so again two two works here okay now mhc1 they are presenting endogenous antigens okay mhc1 they generally present see because they are presenting antigens to cd8 cells if you remember cd8 cells they are acting against viruses they are acting against cancers right and viruses they are always in living inside the cell so all their antigens will also be present inside the cell so they are presenting endogenous antigen they are presenting endogenous antigen whereas mhc2 they are presenting exogenous antigen which is present outside the cell okay which is uh, which they get by phagocytosis right so they are presenting exogenous antigen all right so how is antigen loading done in case of mhc1 there is a process the antigens they are loaded onto mhc1 in the rough endoplasmic reticulum there is a protein here called as transporter associated with antigen processing theek hai whereas in mhc2 it is done in the endosome okay so where is the antigen loading done in case of mhc1 it is done in the rer whereas here it occurs in association with the endosome right and mhc1 there is another protein called as the tap protein theek hai so don't need to remember this i have just written it for a uh, understanding okay and one more last point that mhc1 see mhc2 has four proteins mhc1 has two chains here so mhc1 feels slightly lonely so you know it calls one more protein with itself that is called as beta2 microglobulin beta2 microglobulin right so this is the summary so you have an additional protein that is associated with mhc1 called as beta2 microglobulin All right, so now you understand about MHC one and MHC two. ठीक है, understood? Great. So these are the differences between MHC one and MHC two that I have summarized for you guys, and I hope they will be useful for you when you are preparing for your examinations. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did. Please remember to hit the like button, drop a comment, share it with all your friends and ask them to subscribe. In case you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And you can also hit the bell icon for notifications. You can also subscribe to our Telegram channel. The link for that is also there in the description. So you can subscribe to YouTube and you can also subscribe to our Telegram channel. So before I end the video, let me tell you very quickly about the Unacademy program. Like I told you, we have a plus subscription and a iconic subscription. In the plus subscription you get access to the unacademy application where india's top educators are taking live courses now these are structured batch courses meant for a specific purpose and you will also get the recorded videos and the notes for these sessions along with that aapko kya milta hai ek q bank milta hai jisse aap apne pg ki taiyari kar sakte hain which has over 25000 questions with a clinical orientation and you can also attempt grand tests and quizzes with other learners so you can know how good your preparation is If you go for the iconic subscription plan, the best thing is आपको दोबारा कभी कुछ सोचना ही नहीं पड़ेगा right? You not only get the live experience of Unacademy, but you also get the recorded experience of Prep Ladder where top 19 faculty they are making videos for the 19 subjects, complete MBBS, and that is very good for your examinations, a quick revision. And here you will get the printed notes delivered to your doorstep. So that is the one of the biggest advantages of the iconic subscription. And you can see that you can select your goal as need PG. on the unacademy learner application 
एंड यू कैन इधर गो फॉर प्लस और आइकॉनिक तो जो भी आप सिलेक्ट करते हैं उसका ड्यूरेशन सिलेक्ट करो एंड देन यू विल हैव द ऑप्शन टू अप्लाई दिस रेफरल कोड दैट इज सी एच ई टी ए एन वाई ए चतन्या टेन और यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज अ सिंपल रेफरल कोड एस पी सी एम ओके प्लीज रिमेंबर टू यूज एनी ऑफ दीज टू रेफरल कोड यू विल गेट अ टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट एंड द बेस्ट ऑफर्स ऑन एन अकेडमी एंड आई विल ऑल्सो भी रियली थैंकफुल टू यू ठीक है so these are some of the features that you can try out on an academy and you can unlock special classes using my referral code chatanya10 so the the classes are really interactive you know we have a very good chat box and we also have polls in the sessions new feature raise a hand i'll just tell you about it there's a q bank that has 25000 clinically oriented questions which are very relevant for your entrance examinations along with explanations and matlab page number diya hua hai ki kaun si kitab mein kahan pe diya hua hai right you can also go for the plus subscription where you know you if you go for a two year plan you get four months extra if you go for a one year plan you get two months extra and for a six month subscription you get one month at no additional cost okay these were the grant test i was telling you about you can try them out on the application the new feature raise a hand you can basically you know raise your hand and unmute yourself in the live class theek hai aur aapka jo bhi doubt hai educator live session mein solve karega so that's the most interactive feature that we have on the platform and aisa kahin aur nahi hai right so these are some of the toppers of our recently declared results for neat pg so we would really like to congratulate them we keep on starting new batches for everyone for you know no matter if you're preparing for neat pg or ini set or if it's next you know if you're giving it in 2023 or fmg so we have all of these batches even for profs theek okay? hai so you can join whichever batch you guys are going to prepare for and you can you know join multiple batches also so you can continue your learning on an academy thank you so much guys for watching see you in the next session